Hi, today I thought of showing you two things in this video. Uh, one is ETAPS 2019 is released and I got hold of a original version of this and I upgraded. So I will tell you a few things and I will show you a bit of 2019. There is no much difference but the interface looks awesome. The graphics looks much better. I am yet to see the entire uh, ETAPS 2019 but the interface and the graphics looks much better. Another thing is many students ask me about the tolerance requirement in checking the errors in ETAPS. Now first thing I want to tell you is that checking in ETAPS doesn't guarantee that your model is entirely error free. It's not a proof for that. It only checks a few things and probably if you do it in the right way, yes, it will help you to reduce or nullify the errors. So let me just demonstrate this. So let us go to analyze and uh, check the model. So here many students ask me, why can't I give one here? Why can't I give 20 here? Why did you show 20 mm in your course and so on? Now, there are various reasons for that. So let us do it with one. So I have made certain model here. So let me show you with one what happened. I will say it returned no warning message generator. I will repeat and nice check model. Now here ensure that you have checked the join checks. You have checked the frame checks. If you have not ticked here, then there is no point in doing this check okay now fixing you can choose if you want to do it on your own or if you want to trim certain things uh, by etabs etabs will trim this for you so you can choose that so i'm not taking this right now i'm only taking the check required okay now with one you already saw now i'm going to give something like 2 mm then say okay even now there is no warning here now let me go and then say analyze check model and now let me make this 10 mm even now there is no warning now let me make this say 20 mm now you can see that there is an error displayed and it says b34 b38 are too close so let us see which is b34 this is 36 and this is 34 so if you zoom here you can see that these are too close yeah so now here this coordinate is 20.6 you can see here and this is 20.58 so here the difference is too less so that is within that tolerance this is within 20 mm yeah so that's why it is picked now it is up to you to decide this is an error or not because in reality this is not an error because you can have a beam entering here and here but maybe in the scheme you want to make this more better by moving this beam by 20 mm it's up to you yeah so if you want to do that you do it now you saw that in 2 mm check it was not picked because you were keeping the tolerance as 2 mm so it didn't pick this particular error or this particular difference i should say now practically i don't want this minor 20 mm difference between this beam and this beam so either i would move this beam up or i would move this beam down in my real scheme and uh, solve it now if it was an error in your modeling then you can correct as well yeah so this helps now why did i choose 20 mm this is the reason yeah now 20 mm is not visible to your eyes see you have to zoom to see if your model is like this it won't come in your visibility yeah so i prefer to keep something like 20 mm or even 50 mm sometimes to have a check then you can decide if it's an error or not yeah so for example i will move this further by say or i will delete this or maybe i will keep it like that and then say edit replicate and then say 0 0.05 
yeah now see this is probably visible to your eyes even if you are uh, if you are not very much zoomed you can see that there is a difference it is visible to your eyes so that range that's what i'm keeping as my tolerance yeah if etaps picks it as an error later you can decide if it's an error or not it's up to you it's your your discretion finally that if you want to change that or not but if you keep one as the tolerance maybe this 20 mm will not be picked so you will miss it that's the reason i'm suggesting something like 20 mm or 25 mm as the tolerance you can keep one then if you are keeping it like this and checking it may miss your attention so that's the reason i am using something like 25 mm because 50 mm i think is visible see even at this distance if you are an advanced user you'll be able to make out that this and this are not in the same line i can make it out but 20 25 mm is what will miss your attention your eyesight your eye cannot really really identify that 25 20 25 mm difference so that's the reason i keep 25 mm as my tolerance if it's a mistake or not you can very well decide by saying it now what will happen if i keep a very large distance so let us make it say check model and make it say 200 now the problem is it picked even this maybe i wanted it like that it's picking that as an error so it's a bit nuisance for you to get something which you know that is not an error as an error yeah so that's the reason don't give very high value don't give very less value so it should be visible to you yeah it should be clear to you so again if i say analyze check model and then give uh, 2000 as my value what happens or maybe this distance i don't remember what this distance is so let me keep it like something very high say uh, 4000 as the value then probably even this is shown as an error because that's the tolerance you give and you know that that is not an error yeah so you see here so it's also visible as an detected as an error so it's not needed so that's the reason i uh, keep something like 20 25 mm as the tolerance yeah you can choose your tolerance based on your way of working yeah and uh, now coming to the tabs 2019 no major feature change the design part and all that might have certain changes especially to ductility detailing and all that apart from that the interface looks really beautiful if you click it's very clearly visible that you are clicking on that in 2018 it was a little tedious to realize that you have selected certain things so here it's a bit more clear there are a lot more features it's very easy to navigate your interface speed has increased very very much your rendering is a bit more better it's quite fast these are some of the advancement yeah it works quite well i'm not yet completely checked for the feature changes i will come back if there is any major advancement or any major difference so thank you for your time i hope you learned something about the error checking it's very simple if you are an advanced learner maybe it's not of much importance for you but those who are at the start of your career hope you like the video